So this is Dustin. Uh, Dustin's one of our research scientists at Regenix. And Dustin, uh, you took some fat and you tried to break it down and emulsify it mechanically using a commercially available emulsification system. You were looking at the number of free mesenchymal stem cells and in the stuff that you didn't mechanically emulsify, I think you saw some stem cells, right? Yeah, correct. So basically pre-emulsification, I was able to centrifuge the fat and get an infinitum liquid that contained a, a MSC containing cell pellet. Um, however, and, and how many cells were there uh, on a volume basis relative to, to bone marrow. Your pellet was extremely small, right? Yeah, I think I had about a, a 70 microliter pellet uh, comprised uh, of what looked primarily of RBCs. And so there were a lot of stem cells in that pellet, but it was extremely small size and number. Correct. I would say on a, uh, compared to the bone marrow concentrate we did, uh, there, there were more cells it, within this uh, fatty pellet. However, uh, there was much, much smaller volume than one would get out of a typical Bone, bone marrow aspiration. So you right. get many, many more cells out of bone marrow than just the fat. Now what's interesting is you went ahead and tried to uh, emulsify this stuff, break it down mechanically, and did you see more stem cells when you did that, as you would think, or did you did you see fewer stem cells? Uh, actually, yeah, I, I, after emulsification, I thought I would be able to then centrifuge this tissue and, and obtain a larger cell pellet with more MSCs, but that wasn't the case in my hands. Uh, that while I did get a cell pellet, there were uh, fewer culturable cells within these guys. Okay, so breaking it down and emulsifying it didn't increase the number of stem cells. It seemed to decrease it. Correct. Ah, that's pretty interesting. Okay, thanks, Dustin. Yep.